It's Monday morning and I have 19 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, first thing's down here in F6. There's a couple pieces to it. It is a Sanyo Memo Scriber. I've sold a handful of these type of things. Uh, they're like dictating, you know, transcribing type things. And I've sold some over the years and they seem to do pretty well. This one, I guess, wasn't super valuable and wasn't really selling. I took it myself for $22 plus shipping. Here's the other pieces that go with it. Um, there's a remote, a uh, power cord, and a little foot pedal. Next is over here an A8. It is a die cast car. Let's see, I believe. It is this one right here. Yeah, it's Buckshot Jones. I've got five dollars into this that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is up here in C1. Actually sold a couple things out of here. Sold a couple light bulbs. Um, this is what the stuff that Jeff sent out to me. So thank you, Jeff. He sold for $12.99 free shipping. All right, pulling some more stuff out of that bin. Uh this Peak Design backpack it is a photography backpack I picked up at a garage sale. I paid 15 bucks for it. It sold for $89.99 plus shipping. All right, there's some Nintendo DS stuff in here that I sold. Sold this Zelda game, Majora's Mask, for $15.99 free shipping. And that same buyer bought the other two Zelda games that I had. Uh, it is Ocarina of Time and, let's see, is this Link? Links to a Better World, I think is what this is. A Link Between Worlds. This sold for $13.99 free shipping. And this one sold for $12.99 free shipping. Your name Michael bought these and he's getting them for his sons, Vincent and Zachary. So Michael, thank you for the support. I really hope that your boys like these games. And this Mario Kart 7 game sold as well. It sold for $10.99 free shipping. And then it's going out to a viewer named Brandon. He says, hi John, SoCal Treasure Hunter here. My first episode on my YouTube channel will show up on Monday, June 1st. And that is today, actually. Uh, thanks and keep up the great work, Brandon. Brandon, thank you for the support. I would love to check out your channel. And if you guys want to see it too, I'll put a link down below in the description. And here is the 3DS. And I forgot to tell you guys what I paid. So I got this 3DS and all those games that I just showed you for 75 at the garage sale last Thursday. And this sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Didn't wind up making huge money on that 3DS. I think I it was like right around 150. So after fees and everything, I probably profited like 60 bucks. But super quick sellers and easy to ship too. All right, I know I sold some more out of this bin, so we're gonna open it up and pull some stuff out. I sold this pouch for a lens. I also picked this up at that same sale with all the other camera stuff. I paid four dollars for this and a. Watcher sent me an offer of $34.99 plus shipping, and I accepted. And that same buyer sent me another offer, something on here. This is another Peak Design camera bag. I paid five for this one, and they sent me an offer of $50 plus shipping, and I accepted. Those are both going out to a viewer named Pam. Pam, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, out of that same bin, I sold another photography bag. This is the last one. Um, I also picked this up with all the other ones. I paid $15 for it, sold for $59.99. Plus shipping. Let's go on to your name, Vi. Vi, thank you for the business. I hope you like the bag. Next item is in C3. This is a digital tuner. I got about a dollar under this. It sold for $11.99 free shipping. And that guitar tuner is going out to viewer named Brian. Brian, thank you for the support, man. I really appreciate it. Sold a bumper sticker. This sold for $9.99 free shipping. Sold a pocket knife. This is part of the stuff that my dad gave me to sell. This sold for $19.99 free shipping. All right, we're going up here to B7 now. And I sold both bottles of perfume that I just picked up. And I've already got them bubble wrapped and in boxes because I didn't want them to spill and make a big mess. I paid a dollar each for these. This is the Chanel bottle that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And this is the Shalimar bottle. It sold for $16.99 free shipping. Those bottles are going out to viewers Jenica and Sharon. Thank you both so much for the business. It means a lot. All right, last thing we're pulling are some Looney Tunes Pogs. I just picked these up last weekend at a garage. I've got the whole box for five bucks and I'm selling them in lots of two, and these two sold for $11.99 free shipping. It's Tuesday morning, and I've got about 10 eBay orders to ship out, but first, I want to answer some questions. First is from Brian Schober. He asks, does eBay make a limit on how many things you can post a day? So there's not an easy answer to this. I know when you first start your eBay account, they limit how much you can post, period, not just in a day. They kind of want you to build up some credibility that you're not trying to scam people, and then, like, you know, after a month or so, you, they'll increase it. And I've had luck, um, you know, when I first started, I would just call them and say, hey, you know, I want to list this and they'll usually increase it for you. They might ask you a couple questions about what you're planning on selling, you know, like what your business is. So uh, if you guys are new to reselling and you're running into that obstacle of eBay only to let you list 
20, 50 items or whatever it is, give them a call. Sometimes they'll increase it for you. For an experienced seller, like once you've got an established account, I don't think there's a limit on how many per day. They will put some kind of limits on you. Um, you know, it might, it might be 10,000, 50,000, you know, whatever it is. Uh, but I don't think there's a daily limit. Next is from Leonardo Romo. Can you make good profit from buying things at the pawn shops and thrift stores? I've bought a lot of stuff from thrift stores over the years and made some really good money. And I see a lot of other resellers and YouTubers that do it and they just make killer money. The thrift stores in Cincinnati are not great. I've kind of given up on them for the most part here and there. I'll go there, but I just don't treat it as a primary source to get eBay inventory. I've never sourced at a pawn store, but I know a lot of people that do. Uh, one that comes to mind is Phoenix Resale. He specifically gets video games from them, and I think he tries to get it in bulk and try to like make some kind of deal with them. Uh, and you know, I'm sure if you establish a relationship with pawn shop owners, if they don't do eBay, then that might be a good way for them to liquidate a bunch of inventory. Go in, you know, tell them what you do. Just be straight up with them. Like, hey, look, I resell. I can buy bulk. So, you know, if you've got slow moving products, stuff you want to get rid of, and they might make a deal with you. Uh, but definitely check out Phoenix Resales channel. I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, last is from Ronnie D. He says, can you not have garage sales at your storage units? Must be loads of people starved for sales. He is talking about storage units I just purchased and possibly just having a sale right out of there. I haven't asked him, but I don't think it would really work logistically. Uh, there's not a ton of like parking space between the units. So just the sheer volume of cars coming in and out, I don't think it would work. And there's a gate with a code to get in. So not to mention the pandemic going on with social distancing and everything else and just getting people crammed into a storage unit isn't ideal. So I don't think I want to go that route, even if they would let me do it. Once I get the units consolidated a little bit more and I get some more product out of there, I'm planning on going to the flea market. I'm going to rent a big U-Haul and just fill that thing to the brim and take it to the flea market and just try to move as much stuff as I can in one day and see how that goes. Go ahead and give you guys a quick update on the storage units too because a lot of people have been asking. I still have all three of them. I've been selling a lot of inventory out of them. I've actually moved quite a bit of product, but I still have a ton. I mean, walking through those units, it doesn't even look like I've put a dent in it. So I've still got a lot left to do. I am in the profit. I've sold over ten thousand dollars gross from those sales are great i'm just up against the clock now on paying rent i've paid two months rent so far on those which is a thousand dollars so it's june 2nd today by the end of june i'd really like to have that third unit cleared out and consolidated into the other two that third one is the biggest one it's the 20 by 30 and it's like half my rent it's like 250 bucks so i'm i'm gonna try to be really aggressive in the next two to three weeks and try to move some of that stuff out of there. I thought my antique mall would be open by now, um, but they're not. They're opening June 12th, and I'm planning to rent a second booth and fill that with furniture and just a ton of stuff and see if I can't move a bunch of stuff that way. If you guys are local to Cincinnati or you wanna check out my antique booth, I'll put the address down below. June 12th is when it reopens, and I will keep you guys updated on what I'm putting in there. All right, let's ship some eBay orders. I listed 25 things yesterday, and I think eight or nine of them sold. First is right here to C4. Actually, I think a couple things out of here sold. First is this old book. I pulled this out of the storage units. Show card and poster technique. It's from 1934. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing we're pulling out of here, these are Route 66 salt and pepper shakers. I just picked these up at a garage sale last weekend. Paid a dollar for them, they sold for $11.99 plus shipping. And these are headed to Germany. A viewer named Brian bought these. Brian, thank you so much for the support, man. I hope you like these. All right, next thing's down here, B6. These are some old photos, Cincinnati Red Legs. These are from the 60s, I think. No, 1957. These sold for $31.99 plus shipping. All right, next is the Samsung combo unit, VCR and DVD player. I got this at an estate sale last weekend. I paid $5 for it. Luckily, it had the remote. It seems very rarely that I find these with the remote. So that helped the value. This sold the same day I listed it for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, next is over here an A2. This is a lot of eight bulbs. I just picked these up at a garage sale last weekend. I paid $2 for these eight and they sold for $13.99 free shipping. All right, next is down here, E6. Also something I picked up at a garage sale last weekend. This is a VHS cassette adapter. Basically what you do is you put a smaller cassette in there like this. 
and then put it into VCR and it works. And these sell really well. This sold the same day I listed it and I got $39.99 free shipping. Okay, moving right along, we're going over here D2. This is a plug-in miniature dehumidifier. I picked this up last year at Grasso for a couple dollars. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing's over here in C4. This is a walleye board, new in the packaging. I got this at a garage sale last weekend for $3. It sold for $21.99 for shipping. Sold a laser disc. I think it's over here. Yeah, right here. Queen, we will rock you. I paid a dollar for this. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next two things are down here in C6. These are some dolls that I pulled from the storage unit. They're from the 60s. They're called Tiny Terry's. Each one sold for $39.99 for shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.